Hey there. Know what we're gonna make today? Something delicious. Something my friend Jeff told me about. His grandfather made this recipe with hot dogs or franks. They're all connected with the casings, you know, the old fashioned kind. Beer and butter. In the Hot Logic casserole size, family size, portable oven. It's gonna be great. Come here, let me show you how to do it. Well, first of all, Jeff said his grandfather used to make these hot dogs with butter and beer and simmer them on low all day long. And I said, that would be perfect for the Hot Logic. And he gave me this mustard too. Kosciuszko. That's real good, I tasted it. But I'm gonna put these on the bun at the end with the hot dogs made with butter and beer. Let me show you how easy this is. Come on over. You could also make a smaller batch in your Hot Logic Mini if you want. But I wanted to get as many as I can in there. How many is that? Eight of them. I could still do eight in there. But I wanted to put maybe two bottles of Honeken in there. Premium Malt Lager. Did you ever have that? Okay. Here's my Hot Logic. You know about these. They have the heating element in the bottom. They have a nice 9 by 13 Pyrex in there. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's open these hot dogs. These should be fun. You like them like this? With the casings on? And you might remember Jeff from videos such as Homemade Taquitos with Jeff and Goslin. Or dill pickle pizza we tasted one night. <laughs> Just for an adventure. Look at this. <laughs> it's like on TV. On the cartoons. We're leaving connected. Look at these guys. I'm like this. Could put sauerkraut in here too. Or you could put sauerkraut on the side in your other hot logic. Look at that. Are these twist offs? Where's that mustard? Look at that. I'll use that at the end. Are these twist offs or? Wait, my scissors has one of these things though. What if you're stuck in the woods and you don't have an opener? I used to use my teeth, but that's why I'm missing a molar. <laughs> I did in the old days. Let's see. 12 ounce bottle. We're putting two in. Two 12 ounces. Whatever kind of beer you like. There we go. Mmm. Smells good already. I smell that smoky beef. And I smell beer. One stick of butter. I'm going to put it in there. Mmm. I'm going to cut this up in about four pieces maybe. It will melt. And like Jeff said, his grandfather just simmered these all day on low. And I'm going to do the same with the Hot Logic because it's at the perfect temperature like a low setting on a slow cooker if you don't know that yet. I'm just going to spread these around and right now it's what time is it? 9 a.m. I have these around 5 o'clock for supper or later. Now if you took this to work or you made it for your lunch it would be ready in about two or three hours and it will also stay like I'm going to leave it all day. It will stay that perfect temperature all day long. See what they look like? Wish you could smell them. Got a good smell in there. Put the nice lid on. I got this Pyrex from the Hot Logic website too. I'll put a link down below. Check out the Hot Logic and the Hot Logic Mini. They always have great sales, and you could use my discount code if you want to save a little more money. This is a great gift for anybody. Now this sealed up so good, even with 24 ounces of beer in there, we could carry it to work or carry it to your picnic or wherever you want to go. Or cook it in your RV or camping. You pull the cord out of the back and plug it in, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> See? Like that. Say it and forget it. I'll be back around 5 or 6 o'clock. They're going to be so tender and buttery and beer flavored. We're going to use this delicious mustard on buns. I do have sauerkraut. I could cook that, but I think I'm just going to have this for now. Imagine you could put sauerkraut in there right now, right? All right, everybody, have a nice day. I'm going to go about my day. going to be busy, but I know I have a good meal when I come home. See you then. Okay, it's 5.30 p.m. What is that, eight and a half hours? Still plugged in. 
I'm gonna unplug it right now. And check it out. No, I'm hungry. Had a real busy day. Even took a nap. You ready? What's it gonna look like? Oh, I smell it. it smells like hot dogs. It smells like hot hot dogs. Oh boy, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> they look like they come from a cart, right? From them street carts. Hmm. Give me a fork. Nice. Oh, the casing pops. Whoa, got a, got a ripper there too. See a ripper? That's all right. A couple of my rippers. Get my Pepperidge Farm bun. Taste one. Now remember, I could have put sauerkraut on the side. Even in there would have been good. Would have soaked up that beer. It would have been really good. Complete. But right now I'm gonna taste this for you. And I think you're making. What are you making? Macaroni salad over there? That's yep. gonna go good with this. It'll go good with this. I'm just gonna have you watch me taste this. Let's see. Let's put that case in there. Whoa. Mmm. Where's that special mustard that Jeff gave me? Now this is Kosciuszko. Kosciuszko. I believe that's Polish. Must be. Good Polish mustard. We're gonna taste it. On a hot dog. Mean hot logic. Butter and beer. <laughs> you put anything else you want on here? I was gonna cut the onion too. I forgot. That's okay. For my first taste, I'm just gonna do this. Look at it. You love it. <laughs> mm. So tender. The casing has that snap. The mustard is delicious. Mmm. Made with no effort at all. Oh, I got a buttery flavor in there too. This is so delicious. Thanks for the recipe, Jeff. And thanks for the mustard. <laughs> you know it would be good on this. Check out the Hot Logic family size or the mini. I'll put a link down there. Or make this in your hot logic. Beer and butter hot dogs. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Mm. I don't know if you can hear that casing snap, but it's so good. All right, everybody, have a nice day. Talk to you soon. Please subscribe. Oh, I thought my buddy was coming. Not today. See ya.